new Assassin's Creed game is going to be a massive, massive failure. So, un just like Walt Disney Company, Ubisoft continues to struggle. Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed sale is officially cancelled as Ubisoft drops collector's edition price by 50 amid delays and scrap season past plans. So Assassin's Creed Saddles Collector's Edition will no longer offer early access to the game and edition's price dropping 50 as a result. So basically if you want the full game, you would have to pay $280. But now it's dropped to $240. Oh, such a big deal. Oh my god. But they are canceling the season pack. This, 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 this has never happened in the history of gaming because season passes, you know, a lot of whales and, you know, big YouTubers buy the season pass for content. You know, of course, that's how it is, but it seems that that's the, that way that has worked has, is going to be a thing of the past. That's a screen sound dealers, you know, compromised by unofficial session that basically people didn't like the game. And the all access window has been removed with the original release was was split between twelve and fourteen for everybody else. Yeah. Yeah, all you adopt this means the YouTubers who get review copies basically. Okay. But the but the retail has been locked to a single day. It also taken a while to confirm that it would be the case, so there's little doubt on which day you'll be able to play play Saddles, which means there will be no early days for YouTubers. We everybody gets to play at the same time. I always hate that. I know I get they want they want to advertise the game with all these big YouTubers, but I think everybody should be able to play the game at the same time. So if people want to play blind, they can. But yeah, it has been a few rocky weeks for Ubisoft with the failure of Star Wars Outlaws, you know, and the Assassin's Creed Saddles being delayed, you know, as well. I don't think the game is gonna be too successful. It's too late in development to change anything about the game, you know. They said the main reason to do it is because of the controversy between the character, the Yasuke, and the game. But I think it's too little too late. They sort of fought it. Like, it's kind of like with Snow White. Okay? They sort of fought of it before they put it out. It just I just don't understand why they keep botching these franchises. Like, like, it doesn't really matter to them. Like, it's just like some strange thing. Hollywood in the gaming industry does is doing now, okay? They know people love these franchises and love these IPs and will buy any new thing related to it, but then they'll bot it and, you know, completely ruin it. And then they'll and they'll cry wolf and say, but why don't people like our franchise anymore? Must be either review bombing or toxic fandom. And you can't review bad reviews anymore or else you'd be considered an incel or bot or a evil person or, uh, uh, or a Nazi if you don't like, you know, on the new uh, Star Wars movie. Like, it's... People are getting sick of being called Nazis for disliking the newest product when they are the ones who ruin it. Take, example, Star Wars, okay? And the whole history... <clears throat> reason history behind that franchise, okay? You know, even not... That's not just the accurate, though. That's Jedi. With the whole so-called rumors of people being harassed offline. Yeah, that's... A whole world of baloney because the critics and the media just can't handle the fact that people don't like a movie. Like that's when it, that's when this all started. Actually, it all started with Ghostbusters 2016, but then it was but then it escalated to the Last Jedi. Okay, because 2017 was actually a pretty good year for 2017 and 2017. Okay, 2017 was actually pretty bad year because a lot of massive movies underperformed. But 20, actually, it was 2018 that was pretty good for the box office, but. That's about this video here, and Ubisoft's Rocky period does definitely continue. Goodbye.